Yo, so you've waited all week. This has been the big one. You've been waiting all week for the Onza show, but we got a fucking awesome guest for you this week. We got my... Straight out of the fucking... Straight out of the fucking boob. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Fresh home, brother. Fresh home. Fresh home. Fresh home. Shout yourself out. Yo, what up? I'm Flo's Daily Oni. Strong and loyal gang. You already know the drill. Let's get it. Fucking oath. Yeah, my bro. All right, man. We usually just start off with the generic shit. How'd you get your name? Flo's. Flo's. So, all right. So, in year seven and eight, I used to rap at, um, like, parties and shit. This is back when fucking rapping was not cool. You know what I mean? Like, cunts would call you a fucking, um, like, a wigger and fucking wannabe and that, you know? But... I'd be at parties, bro, freestyle, and then um, everyone would be chanting like, flow, 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 as in like spit a flow. And then it happened at like every party, you know? So that's just where it became flows. And um, De Leone's, um, so one of my best mates, Lorenzo, who's like a brother to me, his last name's De Leone. So um, that's out of respect for him, you know what I mean? Because we're basically brothers, bro. Blood couldn't make us any closer, you know what I mean? How long you known Lorenzo for? For you to chuck your last name, his last name onto the Oh, 15 years now, bro. Yeah, true, yeah, yeah, long time, bro. How'd you mate? Yeah, um, my brother went to school with him. Yeah, so him, my little brother was best friends with him in like primary school and shit. And then yeah, like he's just been around part of our family since since then, bro. Yeah. What school was that? Uh this is up in Brisbane, bro. My brother went St James. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because I didn't live, I didn't grow up with my little brother. Yeah, I grew up with my mum and my little brother grew up with my dad up in um, up in New South Wales and then in Queensland, bro. Wait, so which parent lived in which, where? My mum lived in Newport, me and my mum. Okay. Yeah. And when did your brother move back down? Uh, 2012. Okay. Yeah. So that's pretty recent. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, 10 what? years ago. And when did Lorenzo come down? Did he come down at no, the same Lorenzo's, time? No, Lorenzo's... Lorenzo's... there? Lorenzo's from Queensland, bro. Oh, bullshit. He lives in Brisbane. Yeah, no yeah, way. yeah, yeah, bro. I was actually going to ask you, what's your relationship with Brizzy? Yeah, so, yeah, well, my dad and my brother, yeah, they live there, so. Yeah. I'd go up there for school holidays and shit, and yeah, bro, you know what I mean? But the boys have been back and forth our whole lives, like, Rib's been down here for, like, a year, then back up there, and, like, Renzo's been down here, like... You know, every year since we've met, you know, for holidays and living with me and mum and Riv and then they're going back up there. So doing a bit of travel, bro. Yeah, yeah. What were yeah. summer holidays like for you guys? Um, like would Riv come down and you guys, you'd, you'd be Jing up like my brother's coming well, down? the thing is, cuz, is that um, mum wanted to give, like it's funny as, bro, like mum wanted to give, because Riv's the youngest of all the kids, yeah? How many are there of you? Um, I've got two older brothers, an older sister and Riv. Okay. And... Um, Mum, I was just fucking up bad ever since I was young, you know. And um, mum wanted to give Riv a chance, you know. So she's like, you're staying up in Queensland with your old man, like, away from Tay, you know. And, um, yeah, bro, so summer holidays were all right, bro. I'd go up there and run a muck. My dad didn't give a fuck what we did, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, so, sick. Like, yeah, we'd go up there and then mum tried her best down here, bro, but, yeah, it wasn't happening. But Queensland know? summer holidays were where it yeah, happened. Yeah, yeah, it was rowdy, bro. No shit. Yeah, Have you got yeah. stories from then? Yeah, nothing I can say online, bro. You know. Fair what I mean? enough. <laughs> um, talking about fucking Brizzy, how'd you meet Dwiz of Oz? Yeah, so obviously seeing my dad up there, knowing Lorenzo, and then when I'd be up there with my dad, I, I heard of um, Real Talk Battles, Real Talk Battle League, um, and I just hit up Dwiz maybe 2011 while I was up there for a bit, bro. And how'd you hit him up, MySpace? Nah, Facebook was out then, bro. Oh, sick. It, it just yeah, started, yeah, I was going to say, I mean? yeah. And um, I just messaged him, bro, and I was like... But I was fucking bombarding him, bro. Sorry, Dwiz, you know I bombarded you, bro. <laughs> I was hitting him up, bro, like, cuz, get me on the lineup, get me on the lineup. He's probably thinking, who the fuck is this annoying little cunt, you know? But I just kept bombarding him, bro, and then he gave me my first battle with this cunt called Noise. And um, back then, I was on that real, like, grimy street shit, you know, like, horrorcore type rap. And no one was doing that in battles, you know? Yeah, Because I was... Back then, I was rolling with um, Gravity Ponds, which is Vamps, Peeps, Rems. Uh, and yeah, bro, so when I started battling, like, yeah, bro, like, that's how I met Dwiz. And uh, I wrote uh, Price of Life while I was up at my dad's. And um, Dwiz organised the studio time. Like, I spat it to him, you know? And he's like, bro, 
he's like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? He's like, we're getting in the studio tomorrow. And, bro, the rest is history, like, so... I can't thank Dwiz enough, bro. You know what I mean? Like, if it wasn't for Dwiz, bro, I wouldn't be rapping now. Fucking you know what I mean? Right. Like, he paid for that studio session, paid for it to get mixed and mastered. He organised the video clip with um, Mind Killers. Um, yeah, like, I didn't, I didn't pay a cent, bro. I didn't have any money back then, you know? But Dwiz really put me on, bro. What did and the we're studio still brothers. session look like? Back then? Yeah. Not good, bro. What <laughs> <laughs> just like you know like imagine me and the boys rocking up to the studio we'd been up for five days like we used to put cunts off because like especially me being from melbourne like brizzy's different bro brizzy's brizzy's real chill it's like a big country town yeah mm. and like i don't know man cunts had never like really seen that type of energy that we were bringing from melbourne and that and it just used to put cunts off like not in a good way you know they'd be like fuck who are these cunts and like we don't want them here and shit like they're tagging everything. They're put like they're robbing our friends and shit, like <laughs> just shit like that. Just fucking whack shit, bro. And um, but yeah. So studio studio sessions were wild back then, bro. Yeah, sick. Yeah, yeah. But good times, bro. So that's how I know Dwiz, and he's still one of my best friends to this day. He's a big brother to me. He's a mentor. And um, yeah, man. I, I literally would not be here today without Dwiz. Straight up. Fact. Shout out Dwiz. Shout out to Dwiz. Love you, bro. Uh, what's the story behind chasing ghosts? Like, I've heard it from Dwiz's end, but like, what's your take on, like, yeah, yeah, okay. So chasing ghosts. So Vamps sent me the beat one night, and um, I go to Dwiz. Do you want to jump on this track? And I sent him the beat. He goes, the beat's hard. He's like, what do you want to write about? And um. Obviously, back in those days, bro, 2011, 2012, 2013, like, I wasn't in a good place mentally. Like, if you listen to my Strong and Loyal EP, you get the gist, you know what I mean? I suffered with a lot of mental health issues and I was bad drug problems and, you know, PTSD and whatnot. And um, so I wrote Chasey, I wrote like a 16 and I sent it to him and then Dwiz sent me back, like, the reply and he goes, now you reply to me. And we'll like make it out like we're writing a letter to each other or we're having a conversation with each other. Sick. And we wrote that song in probably 45 minutes, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, he'd, like I'd send him the 16. Five minutes later, bro, boom, his 16 would be back. Five minutes later, my 16 would be back. And it was just like, dung, dung, dung. And then that's Were you the, in Melbourne when that was happening? Um, no, I was in Brisbane. Oh, true. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I wrote that song at my dad's, bro. Um, Did you live far from him? Like, was your dad's house close to his house? Uh, maybe half an hour. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Sick. yeah. But, bro, so that's how that song happened, bro. And it's, um, yeah, it's it's crazy, like, listening back to that shit, bro. You know what I mean? Like, But that was the vibe of, like, 2012, 2013. Like, yeah. We're, like, you go down to the mix spot, you were chucking on flows, gravy, enter yeah yeah you know what i mean like that's what yeah. you were doing like yeah i know because bro let's be honest like how many all- cunts can relate to that like it, we've all got issues bro we all go through shit in life and like but yeah that definitely was the vibe then it's not as much now you don't hear shit as grimy nah, like yeah, that exactly you know what right. i mean um you know i don't like complete i'm not complete i'm cheap sober and willis and shit having slander that's sort of like real hardcore but real like fucking like real deep you know yeah so Definitely the vibe back then, bro. You mentioned Gravity Ponds, and I actually wanted to ask you, how'd you meet Peeps and Gravity Ponds? Pe- peeps, just Peeps or the, the whole of Gravity Ponds? Tell us everything. Uh, so I'm, I, met, um, I met Gravity Ponds at fucking, at Real Talk Battles. Yeah. And um, yeah, at the time they had beef with Cursor and ABK. And um, yeah, fucking me and Schemo and Cursor and Rates had a run in at the pub and fucking... It wasn't a good run in, you know? And then we went back to real talk. All, all's good now with me and Curse, you know? Shout outs, Curse. But um, yeah, I told, I, I bumped into Vamps. I'm like, I just fucking, I didn't even know them who Curse and shit was back then. I'm like, I bumped into these cunts, bro. I fucking, we're having a drink and that. I'm like, fucking, he's like, yeah, we're beefing with them too, you know? I'm like, oh yeah, sick cunt, you know? Like, and then we just started fucking drinking. And then like, I was like, yeah, I rap, you know, me too. And just went from there, bro. And like, you know, it, it got to the point, like I, I was I was a groomsman at Peeps' wedding in Adelaide. Um, you know, Vamps just got out of jail after three years. Um, we still talk, bro. Me and, me, and, um, me and Vamps are still very close. Peeps doesn't rap anymore. Rems doesn't rap anymore. They're just living their life, just bro. Life. Doing the normal thing, bro. Like married, kids. Sick. You know, good on them, bro. Yeah. yeah. But um, so obviously, 
yeah, we lost we lost a bit of contact there. You know what I mean? But Apex Predators. Fucking hell, bro. Tell yeah. us about the video and that day. <laughs> All right, so fuck, bro. Like I hadn't slept in like three days. Again, <laughs> bad bad drug addict. You know, I was on the ice and that. I hadn't slept in three days by the time I got to Adelaide. And as soon as I hopped off the plane, like one of Vamps's mates picked me up and like I was straight into it. You know. Um, so yeah, by the time we did Apex Predators, bro, I'd been up for like six days and I got So you the, caught the plane, you were flying when you got on the flight. Yeah, yeah, I was fuck I was cooked on the plane, bro. I was like I was cooking on in the toilets at the airport. No way. I, I smashed the pipe and flushed it down the toilet in the airport toilets. That's how bad it was, you know? And um yeah, bro, like it, it's a it's a good track, bro, but like when I watch it and shit, I just look at myself and I'm like, fucking hell, bro. You know, like, what the fuck? There's that iconic line by Vamps, like, putting syringes in sand pits. Yeah, yeah, I know. He's a, he's a brutal cunt, bro. And yeah, like, horrorcore shit. Yeah, but he loves it. Like, he doesn't just rap it, yeah. Like, Vamps, he doesn't put syringes in sand pits, but he's a ruthless cunt, bro. Yeah. Straight up. Fuck Vamps is a ruthless yeah, cunt, bro. Well, he doesn't just rap horrorcore, like, he's a bad cunt, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking yeah, own. but he's a sick cunt, you know. So where were you when you're? Because you're like in the woods. Oh fuck! Oh, yeah. So apparently those woods is where um it's where serial killers in Adelaide used to bury all their bodies and shit. Bullshit. Yeah, I'm not too sure the name of it, but bulk bodies got buried out there, you know. And when we were there, like there was an old cemetery. It was spooky as bro. I was like, I was picking up on bad vibes and shit. I'm like, bro, like maybe I'd been up for too long, you know what I mean? Sh- but yeah, yeah. Fuck. yeah. It was a yeah, good clip, bro, but I don't think it's on YouTube anymore. Oh, is it not? Nah, I think the boys took all their music down. Oh, fuck. Yeah, like well, the- all, all my stuff with Gravity Ponds, all my... St- and then they later changed their name to BTRG. Uh, really it's mad. all been taken down, yeah. Shit. Unfortunately. For the ones that you don't didn't know, you didn't get to see, it was fucking... It was an icon. It was filmed really good too. Yeah, bro. It yeah, was. Yeah, it was yeah. straight HD. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, nah, it was good and like... Poor, like, poor peeps and rems, you know, like, they're straighty 180s, you know, and, like, me and Vamps are sitting in the car, like, just junking on, bro, and, um, they're like, fucking hell, like, hurry the fuck up, you know, like, we're, we're trying to, we're trying to film boys, you know, and we're like, just give us 10 minutes, you know, <laughs> <laughs> like, we'll be out in a minute, you know? yeah, <laughs> they're like, yeah, fuck yeah, this, yeah. you know, they're probably thinking flows is a nightmare, bro, <laughs> to deal with, you know. <laughs> I'm sorry, boys, you know what I mean? I'm sorry. <laughs> um, you were talking about your battle rapping before, like real yeah. talk. Yep. What made you want to get into battle rapping? All right, honestly, bro, about? so... All right, so that was just to get a foot in the door, bro. Because that was the thing back then. I was 17 years old and I didn't know anyone with a studio. I didn't know anyone. I didn't know any rappers. Like me and the boys just used to rap in that and I thought, fuck, you know, like... um, Yeah, battle rap was the thing back then, yeah. but... I knew I knew before I even started battle rap that wasn't my thing. It wasn't my niche, bro. I didn't want to battle rap, but I thought, fuck, maybe that'll get my foot in the door where I can meet rappers, producers, and just start to network. You know what I mean? And and it and it did, bro. Like I started going to real talk, and I met rappers, and eventually, yeah, well, obviously met Dwiz, which is the start of it all, bro. Like yeah. I promise you, that is the start. Dwiz is the start of flows. I promise you. Without Dwiz, there's no flows, bro. Yeah, Hundy. Like, you got this bar. It's like. Put your hand in your tampon. You're a sticky mess. If you don't get that, you're a brizzy head. Yeah, yeah, What's yeah. What's that? Uh, so that's like um, like my my hand ting. Call it a tampon because you're a sticky mess and it'll clean you up. You know what I mean? Because oh, like you're a sticky, like you're a bloody shit. mess and like this will clean you up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, tampon, we're bloody mess. Just a play on words there. Right, that. Right, yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. You were saying curse in AUK before. Yep. It's not cool. Just do that. Yeah, but yeah. you said um, squash the beef with the handshake. What's the story surrounding all of that? Um, so I think that started off with Curse and Enter. They got some dramas from back in the day. Obviously, I'm friends with Enter. And I already had prior in issues with Curse and shit. You know, just young cunts, bro. Like, I was young, cooked on the pipe, like... They beefed with Gravity Ponds. I'm mates with Gravity Ponds, so we automatically don't like each other. Yeah. Um, and yeah, bro, like shit, shit, shit came out about Curse fucking saying some shit. It turned out not to be true, bro. Like some cunt sent me fucking fake paperwork and, you know, I fucking aired it out online like Curse is a dog, this, that, you know? And then like it wasn't yet till years later, like it, it got aired out that the it was one of his cousins that fell out with him and like doctored paperwork and that, you know? Really? Yeah, bro. So I pretty much put curse on the dog, which is a breach. But in my defense, bro, like I thought it was real, you know, like the cunt showed me paperwork. And yeah. back then, like 
I didn't need much ammo, bro. You know what I mean? I was just like, fuck it, we're beefing. Like, let's go for it. You know, like, so I aired that out. Um, and bro, like, obviously, when it when I found out it wasn't true, I had to be, you know, I'm a grown man, bro. You know what I mean? So I had to go rectify that, and and I, I reached out to Curse when I when I got home from jail, and um, we speak all the time, bro. And how did you have the shit handshake? Did he yeah. come to Melbourne? What, yeah. When he did his Melbourne show, he's linked up. Yeah, so me and Curse linked up, bro. Um, yeah, like it's squashed, bro. You know what I mean? Like, and it's That's sick. and like it's good. Like it's it's funny, bro. Like there's a mutual respect there, and we both said, bro, because we both said things back then that was like we were just we were just yeah we were just young and cooked, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, things are different bro. back then. Yeah, and we're both. I, I don't know what, how old's Curse thirty three or some shit. Yeah, yeah, I'm thirty, bro. So like. I don't have time for this shit, bro. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. it's a business now, bro. We're making money. Like, that shit just gets in the way, you know? But obviously, like, yeah, you know, shit go on my behalf, bro. Like, um, I made a mistake. I, I manned up and we, we squashed it, bro. So Sick. Yeah, so it's all good, bro. It's good. Like, and, and since then, bro, you know, like, I feel like not just with the cursing, but ever since I've, I've just let things go, bro, and just, like, forgiven people that have done me wrong or owned up to past mistakes bro like i'm being rewarded for it bro you know what i mean like my stars are aligning nothing but positive shit's happening in my life in in my family's life the, the boys around me bro and um yeah bro so i just feel man like yeah like beef and shit bro unless it's justified you know some beef's justified you know what i mean if some cunt comes at your family the wrong way of course you got to do something bro but if it's if it's dumb shit if it's ego like over rap graph whatever bro dumb shit like it's not worth it bro it's just like it's 100%. it's cancerous bro trust me talking about graph were you into the scene yeah brother yeah of course i start like before i was a rapper i, I was a painter lad yeah yeah and, and i was still a painter before like up until i went to jail yeah was it sal a graph crew yeah it's a great that's what it is sal it's it's not anymore it still is like the boys still paint Fuck but up. it was originally a graph crew you know still at large yeah yeah and then um it just turned into strong and loyal over the years and then how did it start uh so me and me mate grant we were sitting at newport station and um yeah we're on, we had warrants out at the time for graph and i said to him i said fucking we're at large, bro. And he goes, <laughs> he goes, what do you mean? We're still at large. We've been at large. I go, still at large, true? I'm like, S-A-L. I'm like, that's it. And he looked at me, he goes, yeah, that's it. I'm like, all right, that's it. Then you, you know? went home and that was the, that, that was that's, the seed. That's, that's, uh, that's a wrap, you know what I mean? Yeah. How deep into it did you go? Into painting? Yeah. As deep as you can go, bro. What you know was what the... I mean? We had a mad story before. The, the one with the boom gate. So let them know. Oh yeah, so obviously Newport Newport Yard stomping ground, you know what I mean? Painting there every weekend and um to get into Newport station legally, yeah, you, you have to go through like a security checkpoint, boom gates and that. And me and the boys like on the Zennies and that, like <laughs> bit of courage, you know, we're like, fuck it, let's just fucking um let's just try drive in, you know? I go, yeah, I'm keen. Like had we're in a hottie anyway, fake plates and all that, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> So we all chucked on like high vis shirts and like long pants, like the blue high vis pants and like hard hats, you know. Mind you, we rock up in this fucking like bombed up fucking Lancer with like fucking like different rims and shit on it, just like a full hottie, yeah. And just like yeah, we pull up to the security fucking booth and like Indian Seki's like in the booth and I just wave at him. He comes over and I'm like, yeah, bro, we're just um we're here to do some work on some pipes and shit up around the back of the the railway there. He's like, oh, yeah, yeah, because there was a lot of work going on there at the time. There was tradies in and out all day, you know? So he must have just thought, like, oh, these cunts are just workers, like, but didn't ask us for ID or had no tags or nothing. And, um, bro, boom gate went up. No fucking way. We worry. drove straight in, in in the hottie, bro. Um, boot full of paint. <laughs> yeah, bro. Had a paint and fucking filmed. And then we got back. As we're coming out, yeah, the fucking. So there's a boom gate but then there's like cage gates and when we first come in they were open oh shit but when we got back they were closed with locks around it I go fuck they, they're onto us they've locked us in you know what I mean and we're sitting there like the car's running for like five minutes and then we see like the Seki car coming 
Indian bloke, Indian secchi driving, and like he'd just been doing the rounds. Like he'd gone for a drive to check on shit, and he and he must have locked the gates. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So no cunt can get in, and then like he's like, oh sorry boys, how long have you been waiting? I'm like, nah, it's all sweet, bro. And he's like, oh, I'll just unlock the gates for you and that. <laughs> And uh, yeah, waved him off as we drove <laughs> off, <laughs> and he waved back. You know what I mean? That's so yeah, nice. yeah. And we've got that. All, I've got that all on. Um, we we recorded that too. Like my my brother's sitting there with like the phone just above the window. You know, fresh. And, like, we're filming like as we're walking out, and he's waving and shit. You know, yeah. Classic story, bro. Good memory. Did you ever make an Sal graph video? Nah. So it's in the works, bro. Oh yeah, bullshit. Yeah. So um, we're just trying to figure out. Because we got like we've got footage from a lot from Brisbane and heaps from Melbourne, so we're just trying to get. We're waiting for a mate's hard drives to come back because he got raided a couple of years ago, and and that's a fuck around in it. Yeah, so. yeah. So he's trying to get like all hard drives back at the moment. So we're waiting for him to see if he can get that back. Fingers crossed. Oh, fingers crossed, bro. Yeah, that would be footage. massive. Bowen Hills Yards, Northgate Layup, um, fucking what's the other one? Bean Lee. Yeah, there's some good footage there, bro. Were you owning Newport at the time? Owning? Yeah, were you like running Newport Yards at the time? Uh, yeah, definitely. Like, so from, two th- oh, from 2015, 14, 15, 16, 17, like we were, yeah, we were crunching it. There was, uh, there was one other crew painting Newport Yards as much as us. But yeah, cunts come and go all the time, bro. Like cunt, cunts come from Sydney as you said before, like boys come from Sydney. I know, I know one time there's a rider from Sydney called Mac and um, we'd fucking, me and my mate had done a fucking massive end to end and like, a, yeah, Mac came down all the way from Sydney to paint and like he got there like a couple of hours after we painted, lad. He's like, oh, fuck. Like, and then, but we, we yeah, and he's like, oh, fuck, you know? And like, he's like, I come all the way from Sydney and it's already done, you know? I said, I was Give thinking, bro, all, all you had to do was give me a call, lad. We, we, we would have taken you in or we would have not gone, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, out of respect, bro, because like, yeah, it's it's not like I, I was telling an old matey here, it's like, cunts are like, stay out. This is our yard, bro. We don't give a fuck, bro. If you want to, unless you're a fucking bad gronk, you know what yeah, I mean? And we know you're a gronk yeah. or a dog, like, yeah, we'll say, like, you fucking stay out. But, bro. Go for it, boys. You know what I mean. Fuck, fuck Metro. Fuck, fuck con- Metro. Like, paint it, lad. You know what I mean. We want to. I want to. I want to drive past Newey, look over the fence, and see fucking panels. I don't care if they're not ours, bro. You know yeah. what I mean. Hellburnt City with K two. Yeah, K two. Who is K two? How'd that uh, track come my around? My bro Two Rows. Shout out to Two Rows. I know you'll be watching this, bro. Two Rows is one of my oldest mates. Um, so that's who like Gabe told me to have the name Flows, bro. Um, oh bullshit. Yeah, because everyone was calling me Flow. He goes, put chuck a Z on the end, you know? Yeah. Um, and it, that's how you find you on YouTube. Yeah. It, it's just that one letter. It's the one letter, bro. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, K2's my mate, Two Rose. Uh, I've known him for 15 years. Yeah, Hellburnt City, bro. I love that track, bro. That was the first song I ever recorded. That was in my brother's trap house, my older brother's trap house out in Gippsland, bro. On like an, uh, We recorded that on an eight track. Bullshit. On one of those fucking old machines, bro, with yeah, the yeah. dials and shit, you know what I mean? Crazy, bro, yeah. How'd you get Riv on a track on Family Over Fame? Fuck, bro, that was a mission, eh? Like, brother, really? word, all right, straight up, bro. Nah, like, Riv, bro, I don't know. It's not just because he's my brother. Like, I think Riv's a better rapper than me. Like, he's only got a couple songs on YouTube, but, like, when he raps to me, I just, like, spin out, you know? I'm like, cunt, like, you're better than me. But he doesn't want to rap, bro. He doesn't want to rap. It's not who he is. Like, it's, you know, like, he can rap and he's a gun, bro, but... It's just not who he is, bro. He goes, I don't, I don't want cunts knowing who I am. I don't want the fame. Like, I don't want that. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, it's a lot. Which is fair enough, bro. You know, if it's not who you are, bro, it's not who you are. It's a commitment. It is. And cunts hit me up all the time, like, bro, get Riv on a track. Oh, bullshit. I'm like, I wish I could, bro, you know? But yeah. Yeah, Riv's doing good, bro. Like, Riv's just, yeah, he just, he's, he's just working and chilling, bro. Sick. Yeah. Sick. Shout doing, out, Riv. Shout out, my bro, Riv. Love you, bro. How'd you meet Alex Jones? Alex Jones, fuck, bro. Um, and apologies to anyone that's listened to DJ Sanchez's interview with Flows. I'm probably going over shit. All good. Like this yeah, just yeah. Been a Me question. and Flea, bro. Like, so Flea used to be an MTS, bro. Uh, yeah, I won't say what he writes, but yeah, Flea used to graph, you know. Yeah, we uh, had rewards on here as well. Oh, rewards, oh yeah, sick fresh. Up. Yeah, so I knew all them boys like enough. He used to write rare. Um, I knew them boys from like the city and shit and I I heard of their mate that's that rapped, you know? True, uh, yeah. This little flea, like flea, you know? Because city was where it was 
gritty at the time. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, Well, that, fuck, that Blood Runs Deep mixtape, bro. He, Flea's first one. That, he changed the game with that, bro. Like, no one was doing that shit. You know what I mean? Mm. Like, Flea is so ahead of his time, bro. Like, it's insane. Um, but the first time we bumped, we crossed paths was that stand up. It was a gig called Stand Up in 2014 in Brisbane. Um, oh, you met him in Brizzy? Yeah, yeah. Me and him went up to, for a gig there and um, we, did our, we did our song Home. I wanted to ask you that. How the fuck did Home come about? Bro, so... That's my favourite Flo's verse. Yeah, bro. So me and, me and... We actually hadn't met at that time, bro. Like when we did that song, like we... Like, my boys got in contact with his boys and my boys like bro like one of our boys is a dope rapper and they're like one of your boys is a dope rapper and then like flea heard i heard my life and flea heard price of life oh, bullshit. and we were just like cunt i'm like tell this cunt to call me you know and like we were on the phone and shit and he sent me the he sent me the beat with the verse and like half an hour later i had my verse sent that to him and um what was the first interaction like on the phone good bro yeah yeah because we knew his, his crew They knew our crew It was all love You know what I yeah, mean sick Yeah and like I was a fan of His song My Life He was a song of Price of Life So it was just like Hey bro what's doing And no one else Was doing shit from Melbourne Nah no like, one Like Flea's from Essendon I'm from Newport No one was Pretty doing close Yeah so but no one There was no other real Rappers of our age In the area To link up with anyway You know what I mean Like I wanted to do Rap with some Like I wanted to Link up with someone It was Flea Like there wasn't there was no other... Yeah, there there was like klepto rewards and shit, but yeah, they were like, I don't know, they were like doing a lot of like... They, it was hard to get them on tracks and shit, you know, like in the studio and that, whereas Flea was... Um, he was in the studio, bro. He was working. So yeah, bro, and we first linked up at, at the stand-up gig and we performed Home Live first time we met, bro. What was that concert like? It was insane, bro. What happened? Tell us the story. Fuck, bro. Um, just fucking like... That was the biggest show I've ever been to. So Trem headlined. Really? Yeah, bro. Yeah, I don't know if he's done a show since, bro. To be honest, like we we grew up listening to Trem and Lyrical Commission and shit. And and on Trem set, like someone printed out. There was a big cardboard cutout of like an old Hitachi. Sick. And like halfway through Trem set, like he's got Iron Lax and that, and like he did a Trem, Trem piece on the on the train and shit. Mid set. Mid set, bro. How quick did he someone, bust it out? Uh, what's that? How quick did he bust it out? Oh, like it was just like a, a trem throwy, like oh, fill yeah, outline sick. 3D key line, you know? Mad. Still dope, bro. Yeah, like you kick it back yeah. watching trem on stage and then like Busted he's doing, Itachi yeah, busting on a stage. fucking Hitachi, yeah? <laughs> it, but so, oh, he's, Dwiz, where is that? I know you know who's got that fucking Hitachi cut out. Someone's got it. You know what I mean? Sick. Someone's sitting at home with a big fucking like, as long as this wall behind you with a big trem throwy on it. So, so someone's sitting on a fucking gold mine there. A bit of history, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, actual. I want to know where it is. Where's it at? Um, the no comment video Tell us the story About that day Fuck bro um, Fuck That was a party bro It was just around the corner From here bro Some penthouse in the city It was like a two story penthouse I oh, know it It's on uh, King Street Yeah I've I don't know there. who owned it Like some like A bunch of sick cunts You know Flea knew them and that And Yeah bro Like we all just Like I rocked up from Newey Flea rocked up from Essendon He brought his I just rocked up with my bro Riv You know um, But I How knew, many people were there? Oh, bro. It looks like a fucking party. Oh, there would have been a good 60 people there, bro. Fuck. Yeah. So that's pretty much everyone in the background we're at when we're out on the rooftop. That's LGC. So it was me and Riv, SAL, and then all the boys, other boys at LGC. And um, me, and, me and Riv, like that's where we first met LGC properly. And then we started kicking back nonstop after that. And then... Uh, yeah, obviously started repping LGC and Flea started repping SAL. Sick. And the crews sort of linked up SALGC, as you probably heard in songs and Fucking own. shit like that, bro. Yeah. yeah. But Is that it... was our first interaction as like... Any stories from the night that you can tell? Oh, bro, just n- not ones you want to hear. Just cook shit. You really? know? It was, yeah, it was just, just one like, of those penthouse stories. Yeah, bro. Everyone's Classic. just like, everyone's on pingers, on coke, on, on everything else. And, and it was just a wild night. A good night. Yeah. You know what I mean? Fuck yeah, it was a good night, bro. Who rang the purple lights and like, you were like, oh, I'm going to film. Like, how did you go, I'm having a party. Let's film. For no comment. Yeah. I don't know, bro. I don't know how really? Flea organized that all. I don't even oh, know who shit. filmed it. Yeah, I don't know who them boys are. I've never seen them since. I just rocked up to this wild party, bro. And like, we just filmed and then it was pretty much a party and we just like filmed for an hour. 
But like before we got there, we were like partying. After the clip, we partied. We partied for like two days after that. Sick. Yeah, we, we just filmed a clip in the middle of a party pretty much. You bro. got a bar from it. You ain't on the west. From, get on your tractor. What's yeah. that about? It's Tell like, like you're, not, you're not from the west. Like you're, you're from the country. So get on your tractor and boot off, cunt. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, just cunts talking shit. Like if you're not from the western suburbs, like if you're from like anywhere out, like we call it the country, bro. You know what I mean? Anywhere past fucking Laverton. So like Werribee onwards, you're from the country, lad. Get yeah, on your you tractor are. and boot off. You know what Fucking I mean? <laughs> um, your song Price of Life, iconic. You've probably been asked a million questions yeah. about it. But how did the Step Brothers cameo at the end? We're filming a music video. Yeah. Yeah, that, bro. That, what is that? Where did yeah, so, that come so, from? <laughs> so the boys that filmed that, Mind Killers, bro, I didn't even know what that was for years. Like, I'm telling you, bro. What, you didn't know it was from Step Brothers? I didn't even know, bro. I, didn't, I thought it was one of them saying it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Someone goes to me and they are, oh, you know, fucking there's like, who, who thought of the Step Brothers thing? I'm like, what do you mean? They're like, there's a Step Brothers bit at the end and like, then they sent me the clip and I'm like, oh, true? But yeah, that's my, one of the boys that film, Mind Killers, just must have chucked that in, you know? as just like a little... Word. Yeah, it's cool though, yeah? It's fucking, We're yeah, it's, music, everyone yeah. knows it. Yeah, you know, nah. it's the thing. Folks knows. Fucking knows. So catching up to recent times, when you were in, you were still active in the scene, semi, like, like you're pumping out merch through your Insta page. Who was managing it? You were uh, doing t-shirts, sketches, were they all your designs? Uh, nah, so, so shout out to my brother Lorenzo. So Lorenzo ran my Instagram. He started an Instagram page for me when I got locked up. Um, he started, he ran all the merch. He did all that and it was all in it. Like he didn't take a cent, brother. That was all in an account for me when I came home. Um, the designs are from a writer called Ubers. Um, RIP. RIP Ubers. I miss you, bro. And I love you so much, bro. Um, yeah, my brother Ubers, I met in jail and uh, yeah, he was one of my closest friends in there, bro. And like, we really clicked, you know. He, I dropped him into SAL. Uh, yeah, he was a brother to me, bro. And and yeah, so those shirts are special, bro. Like, if someone, if if anyone has those shirts, they're really like, they've got a piece of fucking. Because Ubers is a fucking fresh cunt, bro. You know what I mean? And um, yeah, like I won't be doing another run of, the, of those shirts. So, but yeah, I think one of them, one of the designs, my bro Riv did. I think there's a seven two five. That's from my brother Riv. Sick. Uh, but the strong and loyal is all Uber. How'd yeah. you get the designs out of jail? Did you just mail it? Yeah, you just mail it, bro. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you just mail it. Yeah, it's, 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 it's easy getting shit, like, designs out, but, like, all the boys are trying to send me sketches while I'm locked up, and it's just, like, I'll be on the phone, like, did you get my mail, this, that? And I'm like, I didn't get any mail. And, like, oh, two bullshit. weeks later, he's like, oh, bro, they sent all my mail back. Yeah, they, the screws won't let fucking... You can't have any graph on your, on your letters and shit. That's far. And, like, when you get the piece of paper, they... Bro, so the boys sent in a photo of me and all the boys, yeah? Just me and the boys just kicking back. And like, I didn't get it. And then the screws always give you a piece of paper saying your mail's been sent back and why. And it's like gang affiliations, gang photos. I'm like, it's just a photo of me and the boys kicking back. You know what I mean? They're just dogs, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, fucking hell. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm pulling you into this one, Bagsy. How the fuck did you two link up straight after the, the boob? Well, firstly, I had Lorenzo hit me up on Instagram. <clears throat> Around the I'm same time. I'm my voice at the moment too. It's a bit crackly. But um, yeah, so Flo's was still locked up and um, I had Lorenzo hit me up on Instagram. And um, at first I thought it was a fake account. And then I was like, nah, surely it can't be. It's got like a decent amount of likes, you know, and then um, or followers. And then um, end up having a phone call with Lorenzo and... Yeah, he's like, bro, Flo's wants to film with you when you when uh, he gets out and stuff, and um, yeah, so when he gets out, let's let's link up and shit, and it just really went from there, really, eh? Just um, Instagram, really, bro. <laughs> so, the wonders of yeah. social media. Yeah, bro. That's, that's, this up. is what I mean. This is what I mean about Lorenzo, bro. Like, so so, so selfless. Like, like, brother, Ren did all the merch for me. Put all the money aside in an account, like. Made sure my account, my mum had money, sent money to my mum, sent money into my account, was organised. So when I was in jail, I dropped um, Raised by Wolves with Menace, Couldn't Stop with Alex Jones. How'd you pump out that recording? I pumped them all out before I went to jail. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, because I was on the run. Like, so I didn't get done for the armed robs for like six months later, but I knew they were after me, you know? 
and I go, fuck, I better, st- I better do some music, you know, just in case. So I recorded all those verses. I didn't know at the time what I was going to do with them, who was going to jump on them. But I just recorded as much as I could. I only got three tracks in before they arrested me. And yeah, again, shout out to Lorenzo, bro. He hooked, all, he hooked that all up. Like he chased up Menace. Obviously, yeah, he chased up Alex and, and Luxury and Mercs for the Just Hating joint. And yeah, he chased up Bagsy and yeah, bro, me and Bagsy, like, bro, you know, it's, it's crazy, bro. Like Bagsy came down to film behind bars. And um, after we filmed that clip, I told him, I said, I said, bro, the, um, it's you and me, bro. You know what I mean? Sick. It's you and me. It's like, a good link up. Bro, we vibe straight it's away. A very like, good link up. Like, Bagsy's right. my brother now. Like, we're, we're, we're good friends. Is he staying at yours staying at mine, Melbourne? And he's welcome anytime, you know. Sick. Yeah, of course. Every time he comes to Melbourne, bro, he's on my couch. And um, I love him like a brother. And we just, you know, when you meet someone and you just connect. Because yeah. he's a genuine, Bagsy's genuine, bro. He's a nice guy. He's genuine. And plus, I respect his work ethic. I respect what he's done, bro, for the scene. So, there's so many levels there. And, once I once we had that connection, bro, I said it's you and me, bro. Like, I'm not fucking with anyone else. And a big thing too is, you know, we made an agreement. Like, so I go, I want to do all my clips with you, Bagsy. He's like, fucking oh, Flad. Like, let's let's do it. And Bagsy's like, as we started filming him, he's like, you want to chuck him up on your strong and loyal TV YouTube account? And um, I said, nah, bro. Like, because he's close. Bagsy's close to getting 100k subscribers, you know. And um. Four more K to go. So I said, nah, bro, you know what I mean? Like, really? I want to yeah. put all my videos, I want to put all my videos on your channel and I want to see you get that plaque, bro, 100K. Because when you get 100K, they, YouTube sends you a plaque to put on the wall. Sick. So I want to see bags. You, get, you will get that plaque. Coming, bro. So, yeah. What color is the plaque? Silver or gold? Silver. Silver. That's, mate, it's a gold, gold, gold when you hit like a milli or something. That's a bad idea, bro. Sick. But uh, the reason that... Bagsy, like it's a legendary link up but the reason why it's happened is because we're mates bro we get along that's like, good we respect yeah. each other we respect each other's craft we respect what's it like living together what do you guys do oh, all day <laughs> tell, us, tell, us we, tell us a day in the life Fuck, bro i'll tell you all right the first morning i woke up at fucking flo's house i get greeted with a fucking jail style like coffee <laughs> what's like, a jail style coffee brother it's boiled over the fucking oven like, over the oven, like, over the stove. like a hot top and stove. Yeah, yeah. And then um, I'm telling you, best <laughs> best coffee I've ever had. Really? And then five minutes. What is it, McConnor? Yeah, McConnor. Yeah. Always McConnor. Yeah. And then like five minutes later, I'm looking over as I'm fucking sick of drinking his mad coffee. I'm like, Are they COVID test? He's like, yeah. Me, me, like him and his missus both just ended up like having COVID, and we ended up oh, filming shit. like for rest of, for like the rest of the week. But yeah, yeah. bro, we just kick back. Yeah, I didn't even get COVID. Wait, so but the behind bars video, I was going to ask you how that day went. So you had COVID when that happened? Oh, no, no, no. That was back in... No, that, oh, no, I'm talking about in say. April. Oh, no, okay. My ex drove me down for that one. But um, okay. I, funny as, but like when I filmed behind bars, the day before I got bitten by a spider on the leg. I remember and, like, that. Yeah. And, like, Didn't I was, it like eat your flesh and shit? No, nah, um, I think that was my left leg. Oh, God. So like my left... Bro, I've been bitten twice. Left leg and right leg. Like, it was bad. Still walking. Still walking. Bro, he's a soldier, lad. Behind bars was, like, the best, bro, because, like, I went back to the flats where I used to fucking live as a kid. What was the flats? Where was it? Newport Flats on Mason Street, just off Mason Mason Street Street. in Newport. Yeah, bro. It's called Paisley Estate. Paisley Estate. Newport Flats. Yeah, so, bro, we went there, Elm Court, and... All the, all the residents put on a show, like, you know what I mean? Everyone knows who I am. All, they all came out, bro. Everyone's fucking... Everyone's fresh out of jail, still got their fucking ankle monitors Sick. on. And I'm there, like, we're there in the fucking... Um, we've got all the boys there, all the cars, this and that, all the jewellery, and, like, all the boys are coming out, like, with bottles, like, making us drinks, this and that, and then, like, we've, we're, they brought out the dirt bikes, you know, like... Sick. And we just had a party, bro. Like, they love... Yeah, they, you know... It, they love seeing some cunt from there do good but then still be able to come back you know what I mean like and 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 show love and respect bro because like bro like you don't forget where you come from bro. yeah you no you gotta I mean? pay homage to where you're from exactly bro did so. you get any backlash from legal for that like just like you know you're hanging you're hanging with the boys on the street drinking and shit did anything come with that or nah bro nah sick? I'm still on parole um I was a bit worried I'm like we had to there was a few scenes we couldn't put in you know what I mean for, for, for reasons but um <laughs> if you were there you know because bro I know I know boys that have been I know boys on parole that have been sent back to jail for it's called um like they breach it for um 
it's called being active. Like your parole officer will say like, yeah, we've seen photos of you hanging out with such and such or you're in the city all the time, you're here in this, you're associate. No, not an association. Um, it's, it's active. Like they, they say, we, we, we believe you're being active in crime no just by way. hanging out with the boys and shit. I know boys that are doing the righty but because they're hanging with cunts, you know, with names or past that like they've been sent back to have their That's parole fucked. pulled. So, so I they thought, didn't even do anything. They're just... Yeah, no, nah, but my, shout time. out to my parole officer, you know, she's a gun, bro. Really? Uh, yeah, she was shout a gun. Shout out to the PO. Shout out to my PO, bro. Um, also, behind bars, the impact. That was your first track coming out of um, yeah. out of jail. What was yeah. the What was the love like? It was amazing, Cause it's, bro. Because it's it's it different amazing. to your old shit. Yeah, it was amazing. So you know, obviously being in jail for a long time, like I didn't know where I stood. Like I'm like, how a cunt's going to react to me being back, and a cunt's even going to fuck with me. You know, like being in jail for so long, it fucks your confidence, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah. My would. confidence was shattered, bro. I'm like, fucking, I've been gone for so long. Like, and everyone, the boys are like, I don't think you understand, lad. Like, I don't think you have a clue. Like, it's like you haven't gone. If anything, it's just puts you up, you know? Like, cunts have not forgotten about you. Cunts love you, bro. And you like, stood strong and loyal. Yeah, bro. And, and um, Lorenzo. Lorenzo goes, if you get um, 20,000 views in 24 hours, I'll give you a thousand bucks. I go, yeah, sweet, bro. Because I was thinking, yeah, I might get 5K. You didn't get 20,000. Yeah, 22,000 in 24 hours. Yeah. He gave you a thousand bucks for it. Yeah, yeah. No way. Yeah, yeah. So I got over 20,000 views in 24 hours. And um, yeah, Renz gave me a stack. (laughs) (laughs) Shout out Lorenzo. On your Renz. Yeah, yeah. Fucking oath. Yeah, yeah. So um, nah, like it was crazy, bro. Like I was so happy that everyone was showing love. Like because man i love my fans bro like i promise you i love that i love my fans bro like without like the support that i got from behind bars has boosted me to where i am now and everything i've done in the last what 20 months you know if i didn't get that reaction or that love i don't know where i remember telling um sanchez on the lesson i'm like he's like what's what's the plans for the future i said i don't know i don't even know if i'll be rapping at the end of the year I don't even know, you know, but now I know I am rapping. I'm, I'm, I'm touring next year. I'm touring. I'm doing an album. It's, it's all, it's on bro, you know, and that's all f- from the love I received from behind bars that, that sparked the fire again, bro. That's so, so sick. Bled. Yeah, Good bro. On that, you, that's on nearly a million views, bro. Really? Yeah, about to hit a mil, some shit. It's like 800 and something, 80, nearly 900 K. Hasn't even yeah, been yeah. a year. It's not about the views, but it's about. It the, shows view, the, the, view, the views represents the love, you know what I mean? Does, and that, that's yeah. what, that means everything to me, bro. So, yeah, blessed, brother, blessed. Talking about Enter and shit before. I know we're going back, we're backtracking, but how did you meet Enter and the Trap Runners? Uh, I've known Mercs from Melton just through the boys for over the years and, like, obviously Trap Runners because Trap Runners is a Melton crew mm. originally. So Trap Runners are from Melton, you know, like Enter joined Trap and last day joined trap runners it was already a crew you know um so i met enter through trap runners yeah originally so i know trap runners before i knew enter oh bullshit yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I, I knew trap runners on some street shit yeah yeah yeah, yeah. how'd that song uh fly away yeah so fly away was our first song that's produced by luxury shout out to my brother Lux. did you go into the studio with enter no me? i filmed in brunswick at checkmates studio and enter filmed uh enter recorded in sydney Okay. Yeah, same as Nosy Neighbours. So you've yeah. been sticking fat with Checkers for a minute. Yeah, I've been with Checkers for since 2015, bro. Checkers filmed Snakes and Ladders. That was our first. Tell us about the Snakes and Ladders video. Yeah. yeah. Did Checkers yeah. film that? That's Checkers. Man, that. he's good at what he Shout does. Shout out Checkers. He? I love you, big bro. Yeah, nah. Checkers is a gun, bro. Like, um, just an all-round amazing human being. Straight up, bro. Like, not even on some like. Yes, yeah, a very talented musician, very talented artist, but just an amazing. As you would know, you've met him, yeah? He's an amazing human being. Shout outs to Checkers and Ville. I love you both so much. Yeah, and, um, they've both got time for everyone. So yeah, if you see him at a show, give him a chat. Exactly, man. Support. Buy some merch. Um, their, their new album, My Asthma's Out on, on BTE. So go cop that. It's it's dope, you know? We had Villiani on here. She's you a weapon, bro. that episode. That was Sh- fucking awesome. Shout outs, Ville. She's a gun. Um, sick. And just before we go, I, got, I already asked you behind the scenes, but just so the boys at home can hear it. Uh, Blossom and Bloom when it was on YouTube you, <laughs> you had a video so if you, it's on Spotify now and if you it's one I don't know if you know it if you do know it you know from back in the day he, there was a video of it on YouTube and they used to have mad videos like of 
I don't know if there was actual butt in it, but they had like SAO printed on the floor with like 50s. Like they just put it on the floor yeah, and like yeah, the yeah. boys are just like posing next to it. It was fucking hectic. Yeah. But it got taken off YouTube yeah, yeah. before it got put on Spotify. Yeah, so that's the boys and that's my brother Likes and my brother Grant. Um, yeah, like... I don't know, Grant's YouTube account just got deleted, bruh. So that's the only reason, you know. But looking back, it's like red hot, you know. Like, when you're young, you do shit. Like, we got, we're doing, like, we're ripping crops and posting photos of the crops on YouTube. And, like, we're doing urns and then posting all the money on YouTube. Like, <laughs> fucking hell, bro. We've, like, my YouTube account with, like, our emails and shit on it. It's just red <laughs> hot, bruh. Just dumb shit, you know what I mean? So yeah, good. we're not doing that shit anymore. But, yeah, it just got taken down for some reason, bruh. But it's still up there on another account, I'm pretty sure. What is the difference between Blossom and Bloom? <laughs> well, I'll leave that to the real bud heads out there or the real smokers and <laughs> oh, shit, they know what's dude. up uh, Blossom and Bloom there's a big difference you already know shout out one love one love bro alright you've heard us talk this chit chat we're going to play some of these songs that you've been hearing we're going to be tuning back in after you're going to hear some live bars we're going to wrap it up we've got some fucking other shit on the way so let's go let's cheers. get it cheers rock let's with us it. yeah Strong and loyal, day one Fuck Facebook, going on the internet I've got no time to spare, so I'm with my fam
I want to enjoy life and just go through all the good emotions and not just be fucking angry and hating on cunts and trying yeah, to be a, no, a staunch cunt. Nah, bro. Who remembers a fucking cunt? That's, yeah. Who remembers a staunch cunt when they got like a fucking staunch cunt that stabbed everyone? No one, bro. Who remembers a good person? Everyone remembers a good person, you know? I had a mad teacher in high school, Kiwi, man, Rick Lowe. And I went to his funeral because he was a legend. And like, his, like, the room was packed with like students, fam, everyone. Like, I was like, shit, like. That, that, that was a challenge point. Yeah, it's real. It's real, bro. When you die, like, it is, bro. How do you want to be remembered? Or, or what What do you want to leave behind when you die? Like, what, what have you passed on to people that they, like, it's going to help them in their life? Nah, bro. No, no one comes. You don't even have a tombstone. No, no one's even put money together for a coffin. You just, you just, you just, you just, you just disappear forever and never remember. Like, fuck that, bro. Like, what do you want to leave behind? Like, what do you want to be a sick kind of stab kind of stuff? I don't remember you, bro. And I believe in karma, bro. I'm a big believer in karma. It does. So I don't, bro, I don't want, I don't start chopping with no one anymore, bro. I'm not, I don't hurt people, rob people. It's true, it's real. I promise you it's real. And as I said in one of my songs, I read it in a book, like, we all think that karma is going to come back on us. Like, if I do something bad, something bad is going to happen to me. But I read a book in some spiritual healer. It's like, karma comes back on the people you love the most. So if I do something wrong, something bad is going to happen to my mum or my brother. And I, that just blew my mind. I go, holy. That just made me realise in the biggest sense, like, dude, man, like, I'm all about positivity, man. Because I, I want people to treat my... How I treat people is how I want them to treat my mum. You know what I mean? Like, I treat people with kindness, so hopefully when people interact with my mum in the street, they treat her with kindness. That's positive karma. Exactly, bro. Exactly. But if, you're, if you act like a rock and want a sad cunt, you probably will. Karma will come around on your mum or your brothers and shit. That's what I believe anyway. Yeah, I fuck with that. I believe it, bro. I want to succeed Take control of my life I can figure out the way Wanna be on the front line Wanna be more than just fine I can figure out yeah, I've come a long way and I'm so proud There's no denying that I've made it and there's no doubt I spent a few years in jail but I'm home now I'm all about progression bruh, I ain't gonna slow down I used to struggle as a kid, I was so lost On a high dose of Seroquel and Zoloft I used to skip school to stay at home and smoke bongs Mumsy had to work two jobs to keep the phone on Jumping fences with the crew just to rip crops Lunchtime I didn't have a sandwich in the Ziploc Way before Facebook, Snapchat or TikTok Everybody used to link up with the mix spot Sometimes I have to take a minute when I think back I wonder where I'd be now if I didn't rap If God had never blessed me with this gift lad The struggle made me who I am today but I don't miss that I want to succeed Take control of my life I can figure out the way Wanna be on the front line Wanna be more than just fine I can figure out the way life and it's paid off now a hundred dollar note is what the state costs I used to drive a stolen commie with no plates on Stronger by the struggle, hard times are what we're made from I used to stick them up for wallets and a pin code Robbing hard work and people trust me that's a shit go sick cunt Cause I went to jail, I don't think so What I did was wrong, yeah I own it, I don't tiptoe Please forgive me for my sins and my bad thoughts The only way I'm getting into heaven's through a back door I need to call my older brother and my dad more To let them know I love them, if they need me then I'm here for them I'm trying to lead by example for my bro rib No matter how hard it gets Bro, I won't quit We only get one life and it goes quick Every day's a blessing and I'm blessed to even know this yeah. I want to succeed Take control of my life I can figure out the way Wanna be on the front line Wanna be more than just fine I can figure out the way I want to succeed Take control of my life 
figure out the way Wanna be on the front line Wanna be on the just side Like you can figure out the way Alright Sorry guys, we've been yarning. That's why we've been playing songs for fucking like an hour. <laughs> <laughs> so it's all right. What do we? Can you spit something for us, Flores? I can, bro. I can. Fucking oath. Let's get it. Let's do it. What do you want first? Sleepy um, Hello, French or Sad? No, nah, uh, we'll do the the Die Young, my bro. Die Young, done. Shout out to Mercs. Yeah. Uh, listen. Look. RIP Betsy, free Rico, free whispers. You already know. Let's get it. Uh, look. People lying, I see they're fake. Everybody wants to be my mate. Making this money, I'm finding it funny. They vultures, they want to eat my plate. Yeah, I've been grinding for way too long. Now I'm shining, they love my song. Sold out shows, old friends trying to ring my phone, but they know that they did me wrong. Success is the best revenge. So I keep on making this music. Smile on my face when I'm in my ends. Yeah, push to start this ranger. 50k didn't break a sweat. Financial advisor smiles and waves every time that I walk in the bank. Fake love trying to pass is real, but I know in my heart it's phony. I saw them burn when I signed my deal. Best friends, they see your girl like a trophy. Don't trust no one, they lie and steal. Fuck fake friends, I'd rather be lonely. Cause I know at the end of the day I can trust myself. I don't need no homies. Tell me, how does that make you feel? Uh, making this money, I'm not gonna stop. I've seen the best of them turn into dogs. Up in the station, they talking to cops. I thought we were brothers, I guess that we're not. I can't even count all the people I've lost. Jealousy, greed in a bag of the rock. It's switching them up, so I'm turning them off. Yeah, yeah. Bang! <laughs> Let's go. Shout out to my brother Merks on that one, bro. Shout out, Merksy. Welcome home. Yeah, my bro. Mm. All right, let's get that um, plugged in on next, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You already know. R.I.P. Betsy. Yeah. Free Rico each and every single time. I miss you, bro. Free Whispers. I miss you, brother. R.I.P. Betsy. You already know. Yeah. S.A.L. Look, listen, uh. It took 10 years, but I made it out. When I look back, it's crazy how. I told my mum that I'd make her proud. My life was shit, it's amazing now. Fly on planes and I jump in crowds. So many people, they love my sound. Public house in the country towns. If you play my music, thump it loud. I used to be hungry, but now I'm eating. Alhamdulillah that I'm still here breathing. I've slept in the parks in the winter, freezing. A demon inside, don't give me a reason. Nah. Family home, I was in there creeping Gas full late, we ain't have no heat in to come where I came from, that's an achievement Yeah, I knew what it meant when I chose this path I always knew that I'd go this far I've come a long way from smoking shards And doing armed robs in a stolen car Gramming a pipe and a broken heart Future's bright, I'ma count my stars S-A-L, yeah, I made my mark Uh, back to back doing sold out shows Your girlfriend loves me, that's how it goes They're saying I'm famous, yeah, I know Chain is shining, my rolly glows I'm wearing designer, she loves my clothes D. Leone, they call me so, so the coke's so good It'll burn your nose Yeah hey. Let's go, let's go, let's go Yeah, yeah, yeah Yeah, cause the coke burns your nose You already know, yeah. bro <laughs> Let's get it uh, Run that next one up, my bro Yeah, yeah, yeah Yeah. Rest in peace, Betsy. I love you, brother. I know you're up there watching this. I love you so much. Yeah. Let me tell you what's on my mind. And this time I'll try not to cry. I'm feeling like a failure. So, baby, I apologize. I'm so sorry that I'm not that guy. Five years sober, I'm feeling like a joke, bro. Laughing in my face when I'm on the pipe. Cause one bad choice and I'm back at square one Yeah, I might look strong but I'm soft inside You say that I'm crazy, I know how it feels Recovering addict, I swallow these pills Pitching myself, I don't know if I'm real I don't know who you are, so don't tell me to chill Lost and confused, where's my family at? You said we were brothers, I asked you to get me a gram And you happily handed me that Telling my mum that I've used it again Is like telling the patient the cancer is back 
Yeah, but I stand by the facts I'm only human, don't put me up here People in public, they look at me weird Anxiety making it hard to relax Life is for living, it shouldn't be feared Turning a page with the karma attached Yeah, I gave you my heart, there's no market in that Nah, looking at this blade, should I cut my wrist? Yeah, or should I hang myself like my brother did? Should I go and find a nice tree in the park Tie a noose, say goodbye and die under it? Ah, yeah And that's it, bruh yeah. <laughs> yeah, Fucking hell. Sorry to change up the, the stories. That one, bro. The stories that he says when he's in the booth, they're real. You feel it, you see it. It's fucking hectic. There's a lot of emotion in the air. The vibe is right tonight. Thank you all for listening and thank you for having me, bros. It means a lot. I'm blessed and feel very humbled. Thank you very much. Thank you for letting me tell my story and for spitting these lyrics. Thank you very much, bro. You're a legend. Um, fucking oath. Nah, pleasure to have you. Um, all right. Well, it's 9.20, guys. Start yeah, to yeah, yeah. Up. Time to wrap this shit up, Melbourne. Let's go. Right. Let's go. What's the future for Flows? I'm going to stay busy, bro. So we've got uh, me and Menace. Obviously, just sold out show at Laundry Bar. Um, first ever show in Melbourne. First ever show ever. Sold out. So absolute blessed. Um, we got Sydney, December 10th at the Waywoods, me and Menace. We got Lux, Sesk, Raj, Ray Pelka coming through. Uh, January 28th, I'm up in Brisbane, um, in NLA at the back room. We got Don Drino, Dwizzle Voz, Naughty No Mask, Jay Hard, uh, a few other boys, and Adelaide, we're coming for you either May or June. So, and my album out next year. So, I'm just staying busy, brother. It's all music. Album on the way too. I just do, bro. Out, he's got another one out. I do, bro. I do. Loyal to Hell the loyal, yeah. loyal to the soil out 2023. So, I'm just doing music. I'm doing family, and I'm doing life, bro. Yeah. Fucking oath. Busy, you got busy. Any shout outs for us. Uh, I got a shout outs. Yeah, shout outs to my brother Whisper. I know you'll be listening to this, my bro. I love you, bro. I can't wait for you to come home. Free my brother Rico. I miss you, bro. I can't wait for you to come home, bro. I love you so much. And RIP Betsy. And shout outs to the Strong and Loyal gang every single time. Shaft, Sonny, Renzo, Riv, Chase, Trav, and you already know the drill. SAL, let's go, baby. And that concludes another episode of We Onza. Let's hear it. Fucking oath. Flows in the building. Bang, bang, bang. Let's go. Word up. Yeah, boys. On your boys. Hell yeah. Thank you and good night. Bang. So suck as the coke burns your nose. <laughs> you like that one, bud? Awesome. Thank you so much. Nah, that was sick.